First at six, reports of car thefts in Portland have nearly doubled over the last couple months. And towing companies are among the industries now dealing with the problem on a daily basis. Fox Hope's Kendra Kent joins us live tonight with how it's affecting their business, including making them a target for crime as well. Kendra? Yeah, that's right. And as towing companies are recovering more and more of these stolen vehicles, it's really making them something of a sitting duck because they have to store them on their own properties. And they're dealing with more break-ins and thefts from their lots, saying now that boosting their own security is a must. This vehicle, all of the uh, the wires have been cut. If you want a one-stop shop to find a bunch of stolen cars. Ignition has been punched with a screwdriver. A local tow yard is always a safe bet these days in Portland. It clogs up our lot quite a bit with stolen vehicles. Um, that with catalytic converters too. We, we've towed tons of those and they'll, they'll sit in the lot for days on end. Um, and it's just, it's kind of a, a nuisance. Police data shows that hundreds of cars are reported stolen in the city every month. And it's not hard to find the evidence. Junky, inoperable cars like this one, abandoned along the street. Most of the times when we get called out to a car that's been stripped down, 99% of it, the time it's been stolen. For tow companies like Elite Towing, it's all part of the job. But more often these days, it comes with a price that has nothing to do with money. A lot of the times that we get sent out to recover stolen, it's at homeless encampments. Sometimes it, it's been pretty dangerous. You know, we've had people threatening, surrounding the trucks. Um, at that point, we generally call another truck out um, or two uh, for more guys for support. When they tow away the cars, they contact the owner. But not everyone wants to get their busted up car back. So elite towing will sometimes negotiate ownership of the the car with plans to recoup towing costs by auctioning off the cars. But first, they have to make sure not to become a victim themselves. They'll cut, they've cut Cadillac converters out of vehicles. They've um, gotten into vehicles that have keys with them and taken them um, or done whatever they do to get them out and stolen them. Yep, thieves target the towing yards too. An elite towing says it's rare to get a police response after a break in, let alone a callback with a case number. It's basically on us that we got to ramp up security with cameras and, you know, electric fences, razor wire, stuff like that. Protecting stolen cars after recovering them. So hopefully they don't get stolen again. An elite towing tells us that since the pandemic started, they will go to several calls a day where they have to tow stolen vehicles. They also say that they are dealing with those catalytic converter uh, cutouts that they have to then tow those vehicles. And they say that can be up to a dozen times a week. Reporting live tonight in Northeast Portland, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.